I have an early memory, probably one of the earliest in my life, that I need to tell you about so that you can understand this video. I'm four years old and my kindergarten friend Anna, who lived in a house next to mine, took me to the basement of that house to play with me. I really liked that girl and it's one of my favorite childhood memories that I think about quite a lot. A few weeks ago I decided to go back to that basement after more than 35 years. Turns out it's exactly as I remember it, but as I went to the first floor of that apartment house where I remember she lived, I discovered that her apartment number was 4 and it occurred to me that the building number is 43. Her address was 43-4. And as I went outside the building and looked at the entrance door, I saw a metal sculpture of something that resembled psychedelic entities. I lived there for 14 years of my life, first in a house opposite of that building, and then in a house next to hers, and I don't remember any of these details. It feels as if the past has been amended based on my present emotional attachment to that memory. Here's another example. When my family lived there, we bought a car, which coincidentally was made also around the same year as my time spent with Anna. When I recently tried to look up this car online, the first picture I found had not only a license plate with 434 on it, but it was also in front of a train station that I used to get off at when visiting my aunt around that time. I started noticing more of these time-related synchronicities. As I was walking down the street a few weeks ago, I saw the exact same car I drove for 6 years with a license plate, 434. A few months ago, I bought online a random shaver, only to realize that I already have a picture of that very same shaver saved on my phone from months ago, because it was showing a price of 43 pounds and 4 pence. As if I was predicting the future in the past. You might also remember from 434 videos years ago how my phone I was using for years turned out to have 434 number written under its battery. A syringe that I used to grow my first mushrooms after years turned out to have 434 printed on it and I don't recall any of these things existing in the past. I'm telling you about this because recently I was given a message from the psychedelic realm that explains this important phenomena. Whether you believe in the metaphysical or not, there is an undeniable element of a reality that affects your life on a daily basis that you're probably unaware of and it does govern and shape your existence in a significant way. But before I continue with the explanation, I need to ask you to support this channel financially. 434 is my full-time job and your donations allow me to continue uploading videos. You can sponsor my work and help others through methods listed on the screen and in the video description. You can visit the 434 merch shop or you can schedule a donation-funded personal chat with me. Thank you for your generosity and your thoughtfulness. You might remember a video that I uploaded about the understanding of earthly time outside of the human perspective, and that video is crucial to understanding the phenomena of time bridges. According to what I saw in the psychedelic realm, human time is just an illusion strongly attached to our human senses. We come to a place where everything is planned and everything has already taken place, but for us to be able to function normally, we perceive time in linear fashion so that all these events do not take place simultaneously. I was also told by the psychedelic entities that even though we see continuity in life events, the truth is that they're not connected and that they're separate lessons. But like with everything else coming from the metaphysical realm, it turns out that this phenomena is much more complex than I initially thought. And to explain it to you, I'll use another example from my life on which machine elves concentrated explaining it to me. From the age of 15 years old until I was 19, I was in high school and that period is the most significant and the best time of my life. To this day I am completely fixated on the memories from that short moment of my life and in my mind I go back to these intense memories all the time. On my recent trip I was shown that by doing this regularly I created an emotional bridge connecting present moment with these four years back in the 90s. I was shown how this metaphysical platform now enables transfer of the energy that a given moment is loaded with between these two unrelated points in time and how because of existing connection now these two time frames can impact each other even though one of them to us exists in the past. I was shown that this is the reason why in the recent years I started seeing all these people from that period appearing in my life in the same form, bringing with them the same events, same relationships and even the same arguments. 
In fact, it feels as if nothing has changed and our high school reality is now being transferred into this present moment in almost the exact same form. It's a really bizarre thing going on currently that others around me also started noticing. In my communication I was shown not only how the past is being transferred into today, but also how my emotions and actions develop now what happened in those four years. It turns out that that period of time started having life of its own, with new developments that I discover on a regular basis every time I speak to someone involved in it, and they are very often confirmed to be very different than what is stored in my memory. There are even physical objects appearing in my life from 25 years ago that absolutely shouldn't exist in this present moment, yet somehow they find their way into my daily life in perfect condition, as if they were teleported here. It feels as if it was a separate timeline that runs along our current timeline. The most interesting thing is that science already knows about the existence of these time bridges. There's plenty of socially acknowledged phenomena and scientific research that confirms their existence. One of them is of course the famous Mandela effect, where past events or facts stored collectively in memories of millions of people change suddenly, as if shifting our current timeline. Another one is called Delayed Choice or Quantum Eraser Experiment, and it shows the ability of measurements made on matter in the present to change its behavior in the past, based on observers' intentions. In fact, recently I learned that the theory of quantum entanglement is based on the same time bridge that was shown to me in the psychedelic realm. Whether these scientific theories are true or not is a different matter, but this concept exists and is observable in mainstream science. And it's not the only type of proof we have in existence. There's a scientist who was keeping a record of people who started having dreams about dying up to two years before the actual death. And this one I can confirm as my own grandfather told me one week before his death that it was going to happen and it did exactly when he said it would. When I was a child my mom woke up one day saying that today she would receive a message about her grandmother's death and to my surprise in the afternoon of the same day I brought her a telegram confirming her grandmother's passing. There are also few other experiments that describe human reaction to randomly shown emotional images a split second before they were actually being shown, as if the human brain impulses were traveling in time from the future. And this is something that I can personally confirm, because seeing few seconds into the future is probably the only supernatural ability that I have without the use of psychedelics. Every time I'm about to get a phone call, receive a message, an email or a friend invite on social media, I know about this a few seconds beforehand and it only works with people who I have an emotional connection with. It's important to understand why we're building these bridges. I must admit I don't fully understand it yet and it's very difficult to explain it in human terms. But the consequences of this happening are very significant and you need to know about them because they can change your life without your understanding of what is really happening. Our worldview is strongly connected to our false linear time perception and our whole lives are built around going from past to the future with very little regard to the present moment. Keep in mind that if your emotions are strong enough to build a time bridge, it means you are strongly attached to a moment in your past or future. Strong feelings about something that's long gone or that hasn't happened yet will stand in your way of enjoying the present. It's important to learn from the past but it's important to be able to pull away from it. You have to understand past and future, to understand the present, but remember that the past is where all the mistakes are buried. Your future actions are the best remedy for everything wrong in the past. Letting go of the past is forgiving yourself and others. Happiness and fulfillment are defined by your ability to leave the pains and burdens behind and hope for a brighter future. Another aspect of this is that assuming that this is a simulation and we all have manifesting and reality shaping abilities, think about what you do to your life. Think Mandela Effect. I do not know if you're paying attention to your memories, but throughout my life I noticed many facts in the past that changed even though my memories of them stayed the same. If it is possible that we are splitting the timelines emotionally, you need to be very careful what you concentrate on. The present moment is very complex and the power of now is highly underestimated by all of us. I will make a separate video explaining this, but you need to understand that your connection to these points outside of the present moment is much more important than you imagine. Be careful what you concentrate on and what you wish for with sentimental requests like, if I could turn back time. 
I was shown methods of how to dig up memories we don't have access to. But I was also told that going back into the past this way is very intrusive because you're a different person now. In reality, you might be a stranger crossing a bridge to a foreign land. Time is the only irreplaceable commodity. It's what we all really want, but what we are really bad at managing. Time is also an illusion and its perception changes depending on how you feel, what you do or who you are. We all use personal time machines in form of memories that take us to the past and dreams that take us into the future. Change and development are the foundation and essence of life. Both future and past can support you for a while, but they will not sustain you in the present. What you find in the present moment is a measure of your beliefs and understanding of reality, and if it's filled with love, joy and hope, that's what your reality will be about. Love434 Thank you for your time, and if you enjoyed this content, on your way out, please sponsor 434 through methods listed on the screen and in the video description. Subscribe and follow, like and share this video. For merchandise, go to shop.b434.com. Leave your email address at news.b434.com. Visit the website of the artist and the musician I featured here. For more info or contact, visit b434.com and join 44 social media on YouTube, Facebook, BitChute, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and VK. Talk to each other on Reddit, Discord, and Telegram. All links in the video description.